Hi, my name is Greg Narayan, and I'm really excited today to show you all about advertising on the web. We're going to look at how to put AdSense onto your blog, just like this, an advertisement in a blog post. And we're going to look at how to create a custom ad like this one up here. So let's start with Google AdSense because that's what most people think of first. So you visit this link right here, google.com slash adsense slash sign up, and then you'll be asked a few questions. You need a Google account, like a Gmail. You have to be at least 18. You need some content to monetize, and you need an address. The part most people overlook is the website. It's going to be really helpful if you have your own self-hosting and domain name, because then Google understands that you own your content, and you're not just some free blogger looking to make a quick penny on the web. So I'll give you a little link that goes to another video where you can set up a self-hosted blog, uh, which will give you a better chance of getting into AdSense. And I'll put that in the notes of the video. Because I'm already a member, we can go right over to AdSense.com. And this will redirect us. You'll see that redirect to this link. And it takes us to my AdSense dashboard. You can see I've made a little money today, and uh, I was recently paid on the 22nd, and uh, Google owes me $32.84 right now. Once this number reaches over 100, you reach the payment threshold, that's what they call it, and then you can get a payment, and I like getting mine by direct deposit, so it goes right into my bank account. To create an AdSense ad, you would click on My Ads. And then here are four ads I've made before, and we're going to use this one from a different tutorial. If you need a new one, you just click right here, and then name your ad, and then you can choose the sizing. There's all different sorts of size presets, and whether you want text or images or text and display ads. Display ads is what they uh, call images, image ads. And then you can choose the colors and then save and get the code. Let's get the code from this ad, which is 200 by 200 uh, pixels, so it should fit nicely on this blog. Just click Get Code, and then click on this little ad snippet and Control Copy, and then close this. We're going to put this ad over here in the sidebar. So we're going to go to widgets and then scroll down and set up a new text widget in the general sidebar. So click add widget and it pops in right at the bottom. We can paste in our snippet. All this is is some uh, JavaScript created by Google. You don't want to mess with it or delete it because then the ad won't show up. So here we have our ad. I'm going to drag this up so it appears in the top right corner of the blog and uh, make sure to save. All right, now that we've done that, we should be able to see our new ad. And there it is. So great, this will appear on every page or blog post on this blog. The content you see in this little ad 200 by 200 will be depending on what sort of content is on the page and is surrounding the ad. So if we click around, maybe Google will give us different types of ads. We can see a clothing advertisement for Frank and Oak. And uh, a work for older people option. some stuff for free resume templates and that's great. You are going to earn more um, if you have a type of website that generally involves making a purchase um, or reviewing some sort of financial services. So at the moment I'll earn about a dollar per click and I just know that from experience. Um, so when someone clicks they go to a different site. Um, regardless of what that person does I earn a dollar. If this website covered 
financial services, stock trading, insurances, maybe even auto reviews or something that was a bit more heavy in terms of the money investment, then you can earn up to about $20 per click. So if you spend a lot of time on AdSense, then you can really learn how to maximize your earning potential. Let's say you want your AdSense ad within the blog post like this. This is a strategy a lot of top bloggers are using these days because it gets you more impressions and more clicks. And that's because this ad is above the fold. Someone can see it um, and interact with it without having to scroll down at all on the page. It's just a valuable piece of real estate uh, right here. So if you wanted to put your ad in there, I'll show you how right now. You'd have to go to Appearance and Editor in WordPress. Find your single.php. And then you need to post this ad, um, just like we did in the sidebar. But you're going you're gonna to copy paste it in right below the portion of this file that looks like this. Entry content is the, the keyword there. So when you paste it in right here, it'll show up right below your blog post titles. There's this little extra portion um, right here above the ad code that's necessary for everything to work properly. So right here, this highlighted region is the Google ad from AdSense. And this little div area tells the ad to float left on your post and gives it some little um, spacing to make it look better. So you can literally copy uh, this code directly if you want and uh, go for it and then your ad will look just like this. Make sure to put a closing div tag in like this um, and uh, things will look great. So again this just says um, within this div, um, basically a div is like a, a box, make it float left. Um, give it some margin spacing of 10 pixels on the right and no pixels on the bottom. So that's this space and this space and it's floated left. Alright, now that we know about AdSense, why don't we talk about how to put in a direct ad um, or a custom ad like, like this one right here. Maybe you didn't get accepted into AdSense, maybe you're 17 or 16. Uh, maybe you just don't have a postal address because you're a blogger on, on the go, um, uh, a mobile blogger. And you should still be, still be able to advertise uh, right away. So the process is pretty similar, but we're going to actually need to find an image and then style it and then put it onto the blog. So to do that, I'm going to go to google.com and then I'm going to search for a brand which is relevant to my audience and uh, an example of that would be target.com so it looks like it puts us right in the browser I'm going to look up target logo do an image search and uh, because I'm going to put this on the blog I want it to be transparent so uh, the background of my blog shows up and uh, I think this one looks good great I'm gonna save this image as just call it target advertisement and then this is where the tricky part comes in so we could just put it on the blog right now, but I want to make it look a little bit neater. So I'm going to go to pixlr.com, which is the free online photo editor, and click on Pixlr Editor, and then I'm going to open that target ad. All right, here's our target ad looking pretty nice. Um, but let's say we want some text over it because uh, otherwise someone might not know what it's there for or how to interact with it. So I'm going to add some text by clicking on this A and then just clicking anywhere over the image. I'm going to write out some text which would be 
relevant to my audience and uh, also use some direct response um, meaning words like shop or buy or get um, instead of just dorm styles. Um, studies have been done that when you tell people what to do in an ad you're more likely to get results. So I will center it and then make it a little bigger uh, and then I'm gonna change the font to uh, I hope it's in here I'm gonna change our font to handwriting Dakota great and I think the black will look good and just drag it over centered so that looks pretty good uh, I'm gonna add one more style to that text um, make sure this layer is selected on the right and then I'm gonna give this text a little bit of 3D background so to do that I'm gonna click on uh, well first click on the A and make sure you have the text selected and then I'm gonna click on layer and then go down to layer styles in Pixlr and then I'm gonna give it some outer glow so if I click here you'll see a little glow comes in right away I actually want that to be um, geez I guess we'll go with uh, white and then click OK and uh, we can make that 3D uh, a little bit stronger and larger and uh, that should do it. So I'll click OK and then OK again and we have our target ad. It's not a very good ad, um, it's not a real ad, but it should do the trick for now. So I'm gonna save it, overwrite our previous ad, replace it, and now I'm going to show you how to put this ad into the blog sidebar and how to make it go to target.com when someone clicks on it. So we'll go back over to the blog and back to the widgets area. So to set up our ad, I'm going to do a neat little trick and use the new post editor. Just like this. And just as if we were going to put this target ad in a blog post, I'm going to click add media but we don't need a title or anything just add the media in upload great and insert into post so in a normal post you'd have you know all sorts of text and you have a title and all that um, if we were to preview Uh, we would see the image showing up um, rather strangely uh, right here um, just like that so we're actually going to use this code that WordPress generates for us um, this code right here which just represents an image and we're gonna put that in the sidebar to create our advertisement uh, so we can do that just by copying it and then coming over here and we're going to use this text widget um, but I'm going to replace our AdSense code actually I'll go ahead and, and set up a new widget same process general sidebar add widget just paste that in just like you would an AdSense ad uh, the key here is going to be to style it a little bit and I'll show you exactly what I mean so if we save it and then uh, bring it back up to the very top. Uh, let's take a look at how our ad looks now. So it's too big and uh, it's not going to get many clicks or it's not going to earn us much um, respect if it looks goofy like this. At the same time, uh, if someone clicks this, it will just open up the image attachment file um, which really does us no good so let's change the style and let's make it go to target.com when someone clicks it 
To do that in widgets, we can edit the code. And to make it smaller, we can change the width right here to maybe 225, 225. Um, we can also edit this part to make it centered in our sidebar. And lastly, we're going to change the, the link which goes in this little ARAF portion, portion right here. So this is the link that our ad will go to when someone clicks it. And uh, I'm just going to find, um, you know, target. Hopefully they have a page um, which would be relevant. All right, perfect. So we'll use this link for our ad. I'm going to copy um, this link up here. And then I'm just going to put it in here. So right from the uh, closing quotes to the opening quotes, go ahead and paste the new link in. And then let's take a look at how it looks. All right, much better. So now when someone is uh, on the blog, maybe in the travel section, reading some articles, they will have this nice target advertisement that they can view. And if someone clicks it, they will get taken right over to this landing page at Target and they can shop around. So if Target reached out to you asking to advertise on your blog and you set something like this up for them, I would guess that they would be very happy. Um, they might request different styles on the ad, um, so you might need to brush up your Pixlr or your Photoshop skills, but now at least you know how to set it up and put it on the blog. All right, so now that we know how to set up our ad, I'll give you a couple tips for uh, styling the advertisement. So if you put in uh, what's known as a target blank tag uh, by writing target equals quote underscore B-L-A-N-K, and if you put that in right after this ahf, then save it. Um, let's refresh our page. Now when someone clicks the uh, ad, it will open in a new window. So they won't have to leave your blog, um, which is a nice little uh, technique. You could also add a border to the advertisement. Uh, to do that, you're going to want to write some style in this portion over here, right by the width and the height. So I'm going to write style equals border. Uh, the way the border style works is uh, there's a width and then there's a type of border and then a color. And then you have to close it with the quotes like that. Actually you put a little semicolon first. So I want our border to be um, two pixels and uh, inset and I actually want the color to be uh, just like this red. I can find out that color um, by using this tool in Pixlr and just clicking and then the color will come in right here. We can click that and then copy the uh, color code and then I'm just going to paste that in right here. Uh, make sure to include the pound sign and the closing semicolon and uh, now we can save it and then if we refresh now we have a border on our advertisement and it's looking a little more professional. So there you have it folks. You now know how to make an AdSense ad or a custom ad and then put it on your blog or website and start generating some revenue. My final piece of advice is to not rely on something like AdSense too much for your revenue and to put dinner on the table it's really pretty small earnings and uh, should just supplement what you're already doing. If you want to do direct advertising, it really helps to reach out to brands directly. If you are on their website, they usually have a contact us page and hopefully an email. So write them a real personal note and let them know that you'd like to do business with them. All right, that sums it up. Make sure to post any questions you have in the comments and please subscribe, like, and share the video. Thanks so much for watching.